In this video, we're going to learn about charges on conductors, and in particular, we're going to learn why do charges always end up on the surface of a conductor. And so let's start out with something a little simpler, uh, charges in free space. So let's say that I have two charges that I place right next to each other in free space. What is going to happen? Well, let's, if we call this charge one, call this charge two, Charge one is going to exert a force on charge two. Charge two is gonna exert a force on charge one, and they're gonna repel each other because they're of the same sign. They're both positive charges. So after some time, they're gonna have flown away from each other. And now the force will be a little bit weaker, but they're still flying away from each other. And so they'll just keep getting further and further and further away from each other. And if I let them go forever, they'd fly off into the distance and we'd completely lose track of them. But what happens instead, and that a very similar thing happens when we have, instead of just two charges, we've got say a whole clump of charges. So let's say we put you know five charges all right next to each other. They'll all sort of exert forces on each other and they'll want to move away from each other. And so if I let them go some amount of time, they'll be now spaced apart from each other. They'll have repelled each other. And now the force will be a little lower, but they'll still be flying away from each other. And so this is sort of the picture of what happens if you just let charges that are free to move roam around in free space. So how do things change when I have a conductor? Well, first of all, what is a conductor? Well, a conductor is just some blob of material. It might be a solid, it's probably a solid, it might be a liquid or a gas. But inside a conductor, charges are allowed to move freely. So if I have a positive charge, you know, it's free to walk around the conductor. It's free to go from here to here. Another positive charge, free to go from there to there. I've got neg I might have negative charges inside. They're free to move around, free to move around. Now, in conduct typically in solids, the positive charges are ions and are fixed, and the negative charges are electrons and can move around. But uh, it'll turn out that positive charges act like they can move because an electron sort of filling up a positive charge space looks just like the positive charge moving. So in practice, we treat both positive and negative charges in a conductor as if they can move. So now what happens if we place a, two charged particles, let's say, inside a conductor? So let's say this little blob is our conductor. And let's just place two positively charged particles inside that conductor. Well, what happens? Well, the same exact thing happens. So the positive charges just repel each other, and so they try to run away. So if I just redraw them, they move further and further away from each other. And they keep moving further and further away until they get stuck. And so they can only move to the boundaries of the conductor. They can't move any further because they're not able to escape the conductor. They're stuck on the surface. And so now if instead of two particles, say this is my conductor, I've got a bunch of char charged particles, I don't know, five, ten, a billion, and I let them go inside the conductor, they will all run away from each other as fast as they possibly can. And after some amount of time, they'll all have run as far away as they can from each other, and they will end up on the surface of the conductor. And at some point, they'll reach an equilibrium, an equilibrium where they don't want to move anymore. They're constrained by the outside surface of the conductor. So they can't leave the conductor, but they're as far away from their neighbors as they can be. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind the scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.